Hello lovelies! Today we are going to be doing a part two of my traveler's notebook mod. I mentioned before that I have an alternative way to do the mod without having to actually take apart the clasp and I will be showing you how without purchasing an additional kit and just using the extra elastics that come with your TN. So with this camel TN, I didn't have any more camel string and I didn't want to purchase any. So as you can see, it appears the same on the outside, but when you open it, you will notice that it's not a seamless look. You'll see that next to the main string there are two additional ones with these kind of unsightly knots i prefer to do it my original way as i'll show you this brown tn is done with the original mod and you can see it's just all uniform strings it looks like it came like this there's no additional holes or anything else and again the outside still looks pretty still looks pretty seamless and it's hard to tell unless you have different colored string i'm going to show you this mod on my little passport size it will work the same with the standard size but i only have a little bit of elastic left just enough to do a passport size mod I didn't want to buy another kit and the orange is the color that I have the most of. Here you can see I did the same mod with one of the extra elastics that came with this and I'm just going to remove that really quickly and this is basically how your TN will look when you first open it up minus the charms of course but it's basically just one string threaded through and to do this, you're going to want to cut the edges off, just like the other mod. As you can see with the elastic holding the charms, those ends are super frayed because I was just too lazy. <laughs> the first mod that I always see that I personally don't like is the one with the string just hanging out on the outside. I feel like this is kind of ugly. So... I like to take the extra step to just thread it through the holes instead. And this one I'm gonna call like my seamless mod. <laughs> and again, you really want to seal those edges because it's gonna be pretty difficult with the frayed ends to get it through that tiny hole. So the first thing you wanna do is just pick a side. If you're gonna add one, I recommend putting it more towards the back so you don't see it. Whichever side you choose, just make sure you are following the same side when you go to the bottom. So you want to start with the back of the TN and threading it through the second hole from the top. And it should go in pretty easily. Then you want to take that elastic and put it through the top slit and also the bottom slit. And this string that you see here is going to be the one that's actually holding your insert. Now you're going to flip it over and thread it through the back, again staying on the same side that you started with. So over here, you're going to be threading it through the left side again. And sometimes it might seem tricky, but it's really, it's just me not holding the elastic correctly with the tweezers. But you're going to want to pull everything taut and make sure that the elastics are both, again, on the same side i i feel like i keep repeating this but i've made the mistake many times of threading it through the opposite side and it just not working correctly and 
getting super tangled. And then you're just going to want to quickly tie this up. I'm sure you'll do it faster than me without the nails. And you want to make sure it's pretty tight and make sure that the inside string has the same amount of slack as the original string. Now I'm going to add a second one just to show you how it's done. Now for this one, I'm going to be focusing on the right side and you're gonna wanna hold the strings the opposite direction because this is a tight squeeze. In my other mod, people have mentioned just taking an owl and making the hole a little bigger, but I don't like to do that because then the strings end up super loose. I'm not sure how to describe it, but they get really loose and the inserts will start coming out and I find that it's better to just keep the hole as small as possible. And again, I don't want to ruin the integrity of this TN. I want this to last as long as possible. Once the holes start getting bigger, you're going to want to tighten the strings even more and it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger. So I don't really recommend using an awl to like loosen it up. It's really not that hard to just thread it through. You just need a little bit more patience and just pull those strings towards the side to make that space. And once you pull that through, again, you want to make sure you are staying in the correct side and you put the same amount of slack as the original one. I also like to take the original one and almost stick it out. You can do this at the end. It doesn't matter if you do it while you're threading it or after, but I like to make sure that that middle one is the one that you will see in the outside. And I'll show you a little when we look at the outside. Don't get too concerned if you see the TN kind of bowing inward. It's just all the elastics that you have will cause that to happen. It doesn't ruin the TN or anything, and it's not that they're too tight. You also don't want to make this too loose either because then, again, you'll have inserts just flopping around. And there you can see that you will have those little knots in the back, but really no one's going to see that anyway. I like to keep the strings as taut as the original ones are. And there you have it. I mean, they all will fit really nicely. Um, one of my inserts is a little too chunky. Usually the TN will hold three inserts nice and flush. It's more obvious with the orange string, but when you have a camel color string or when all three strings match, it's not obvious at all. It almost looks like you didn't do anything at all to your TN. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions, leave it down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.